Hey gang, Kyle's gonna show us how to properly execute various carbine reloads. I suggest you pay attention and practice this on your downtime. Hey, KD here with the Four Performance. Today we're gonna to talk about reloads on the range. And a couple things we need to ID before that is, uh, again, the sling system. Make sure it's uh, conducive to doing reloads, to you getting the gun up and out of the way. A couple things you need to ID first off, how do you carry your mags? Um, like what I'm doing right now, kind of a low profile thing, literally taking a mag, putting it in my back pocket. Um, some guys wear them on the belt. Uh, generally a patrol officer, he's gonna have his, his mag on his belt. And military guys are gonna have it on, on a piece of kit like an armor carrier on their plate in the front. So with that, you've got a bunch of different retentions, uh, open top or a pocket and Velcro. I base the time that I give guys for a standard off the Velcro retention that the military guys use because typically that's the busiest. So what that means is the guys having to uh, bring up a Velcro flap, get a grip on the mag, bring it out and put it in. So what I do on a timer, one round, reload one round, should be about five seconds, uh, give or take. So uh, with that knowledge, um, you can train this thing with whatever your system is. And I'm just going to give you a couple tips of what I found to be faster uh, in the long run. So I'm going to do a reload here real fast. And if you come up, and, and, I, and I see it right here, and it comes down, all right, and it looks kind of simple. There's not a lot going on, but uh, let's break that down a little bit. First off, um, to train this, what I'm gonna do is take the live mag out. I've got a bullet in the chamber right now. Of course, I'm on safe long finger. I'll put this back away in my pouch. I'll reach down and uh, take my empty mag now and put it in the gun. So this is how you train this drill. Um, how to get it fast. When the gun locks to the rear, or I'm sorry, when the bolt locks to the rear, we want to dump this mag with the gun still in this orientation. If you come back to here to take the mag out, you're going to have to, to pull it out with your hand. It just takes more time. If you're using a magazine that doesn't fall free, something you need to think about is either making it so it will fall free or using a different type of mag. So one more time here, we're going to, we're going to slow it down a little bit. So I come up, take a shot. All right, bolt locks to the rear. I've got enough time on the gun to feel that. Dump the mag just like this. Break the gun down so I can see the mag well. Mag out tap tug to make sure it's seated. I don't want to beat it too bad because I might pop that top round out, cause my own double feed. Now, here's one that, that some guys get a little controversial on. A lot of people like to use their palm to hit this thing. I'm telling you right now, I've seen it thousands of times. You'll generally hit it twice. Most everybody does. It's faster to take your thumb, look at that paddle, hit it just like that, and keep rocking. So that's how we, we train the reload. Now, couple things to uh, think about on the reload. One of the, uh, one of the things I hear a lot is um, guys will say, well, if I'm behind cover, if I'm working a piece of cover and I need to reload, I'm going to suck back behind that cover to do that reload. Here's what I'll tell you. I don't think that that is necessarily true, and that's not what I put out in my classes. I call this a 50% rule. Here's what I mean by that. If I'm behind a piece of cover, let's say this tree, for example, I'm in a good kneeling position. I come up to take a shot, and I need to reload. If it's only one threat, I keep my eye on the threat, come in here, do my reload, and I get right back on it because it's something that I can deal with. Now, let's say it's more than a single threat and more than something I feel like I can deal with. This is where I, I mean 50%. I'll train one way. The next time I do it, I'll do it the other way. So if it's more than I can handle and I'm in an engagement, I come out. I'm like, hey, I'll suck back behind cover to reload, and at this point, probably come out in a different spot, or I'll move all together. So those are the things you kind of got to look at with training. Now, the last reload we need to talk about, again, behind cover, and, and definitely when there's no action going on, for you guys that are still working for a living, is the uh, tactical reload. What I mean by that is we know we've shot some rounds out of this magazine. We don't really know how many, but we've shot some. And another reason I like to work the gun up high, muzzle high, is because I can see this in front of my face and people can walk around me and I'm not muzzling them. Is I'll take a full mag, bring it out, make an L right here, out with a partial, in with a full, make sure you click it in and pull on it to make sure it's seated. I'll take the partial, put it back in my pocket, or if I'm running a couple of mag pouches, the one furthest to the rear. If I'm running a, a carrier, with mag pouches on the front of armor, it'll go into the mag pouch that's furthest to my right as a right-hander. So now I've plussed this gun up, 
it's ready to go, and I can start all over again. Reloads are a critical part of shooting a rifle. Get out there, practice them, get good at them. One reload, one five seconds with a carbine. See you out on the range. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Legion Firearms, U.S. Optics, Meredith Rifle, Dark Angel, Keltec, Yeti, Crossbone, Wiley X, Vertex, Black Rain Ordnance, Huber Concepts, Tax Strike, and WW Guns. Although I was never part of this elite group, I've worked with them and have friends who are with them. I'd like to dedicate this episode to United States Army Special Forces, also known as Green Berets, which is only the hat they wear. De Oppresso Lieber. Closed caption provided by Wiley X.